Hi everyone. So today's tutorial is going to be about streaming uh, and media content into the magic fees, but this is for specifically Windows users. Again, I don't know why you're still using Windows. No, I'm joking. So yes, we do have a solution for that. And that was actually uh, suggested to me by my good friend, Martin Chesluk. Hope I pronounced it correctly. So he actually reminded that there is a really nice tool and it's free, it's available, and it actually has got a much, much better speed than the previous tool I showed you with the, the one that works on the Mac. So as far as I know, this works only on the Windows and it has been uh, created by um, the Pandora's box or uh, at, at the moment it's it's the Chris Steele Pandora's box uh, product and as you can see here I'm basically um, capturing the data on the screen and sending it into the magic queue again being in a demo mode all works so now if you've got your media content whether it's going to be from Resolume from any other media server um, this tool can help you and it works on windows and it's free which is perfect for all of you so how to get it so <laughs> it took me actually quite time to find it but uh, after a bit of a battle i managed to find it so all you have to do is you have to go on christypandorasbox.com okay again this is not the only solution there are several but this one i found being quite actually easy to use free and fast so Chris is Pandora's box, you get to this website, then you go to the products, you press software license, all right? So you on this page, scroll down, scroll down, and you get to the point it says to the download area, click on it. So you don't need to actually download the whole Pandora's box software, which is a great media server. I used to use it before. And... Uh, along with the other media service I know how to use. So that being obviously Resolume, Hypotizer, Pandora's Box, etc. So what you do here is following. You press on System Tools. And here is CITP Streamer. OK, click here. It's going to give you different versions. So download the latest one, Pandora's Box CITP Desktop Streamer Revision 12. OK, so when you download it, install it as per usual. And when you launch it, it basically comes up as this. So this is the window that allows you to capture your desktop or part of your desktop. So what I did was I run the video in the Windows Media Player OK, here. And all I did was I applied, I press pick. I selected part of the region I need and that's it it straight away works and if you want you just press apply but otherwise the effects are immediate so yes I'm using the like sort of loop back th using my internal Wi-Fi so again the same thing so it's uh, I'm using my inbuilt Wi-Fi so it's basically the data comes out and streams back into my magic queue Okay, so I'm using MSX 1.0 here. So nothing, anything special. It works. So the only thing you need to do in your on your Magic Cube again is to create a screen on your for your Magic Vis. In order to do that, you have to go to Patch, View Vis, then you press Insert, then you choose Form. Okay, so it will create a form uh, in the form of a queue. And then here in the second column, you double click and you choose sheet. Okay, so when you choose sheet, after that, you need to give uh, a dimensions of the screen. So I gave 16 by 9. So it's like sort of uh, a white screen. Then you use the encoders X and Y to position the screen on your visualizer. Okay, so I have it like that. I can move it around if I want to. So if I want to see, I can move it around. I can move Z as well, so back and forward. Okay, so after you do that, uh, use the arrows here or that scroll bar to scroll to the right. And in the texture column, you select the player. So in my case, I use the player 2. 
and uh, if you don't know i will explain to you why but i basically typed in here mp2 so double click and on the virtual keyboard type mp2 what it means is it stands for media player 2 so why 2 why not 1 why not 100 because it is de determined by uh, a next menu i'm going to show you in a moment so set it as mp2 and you go to the setup view system so normally you will be in this window you press view system view media okay so here as you can see my virtual server one is dedicated to pixel mapper so that i already set it up it came from my show file so that means i'm using the second uh second player so this is the media server 2 media player 2 here you type in the name as you want to call it i call it pb stream which stands for pandora's box stream then in my type i double click and i chosen citp live feed okay then here you don't you skip this part and you type in the ip address that i'm using this is the ip address of my uh of my wi-fi router at home so it's 192.168.0.128 uh, if you're not sure where it's coming from go to the view settings go to the network and where it says ip address you double click and choose the ip address that you're using so if the adapter you're using is starts from two this is the one now my wi-fi is using 192 so basically i'm looping back via my wi-fi adapter if you've got loopback adapter you can use loopback adapter as well so after that we let's go back here in the view media i typed in the ip address then here you have to enable so you press so by default you're going to have something like this when you set mp2 so media player 2 then i've set up the ip address i come here and uh, where it says thumbs you press enter so it becomes enabled then you go to the live preview you press enter and it straight away starts working that's it so it's very very easy it's super simple and then you can work again if you're using the reason i'm not showing it with the resolume uh, i've got resolume uh, version 6 here so the reason i'm not showing it because even in the windowed mode it actually requires the full screen to be running i do not have a second screen to show it to you with so what i'm showing you is with the media player and what i did was i just basically selected that part of the screen which is my output window and i've streaming it into my magic face so you guys don't need to wait for the ndi or spout or siphon to be implemented this player for the windows is perfect it's free it's working it's uh, it's available it's super fast for me it is quite fast and again thanks martin for suggesting me this it's uh, yeah guys feel free to use it and good luck that's all for today have a lovely day bye bye